In kickboxing, it was a quote that was on the wall, and uh, it all, I always remembered it. But you can train for years, and it just takes one punch, and the fight could be over. Dear Karate Tube Germany friends, recently I received an email from Ireland. The writer was Sansei Emmett, a martial artist with 26 years of experience. He's a fellow YouTuber and he asked me for an interview. It was a pleasant and hopefully also for you entertaining talk. Emmett started with the age of eight with boxing, switched after two years to kickboxing and found his final love in jiu-jitsu. He holds a kodan, a junior black belt in judo. His passion is in his own words, the unity between different systems in the wider world of the martial arts community. You will see now the first part of our conversation. Jiu-Jitsu master meets karate master. Enjoy. That's, that's it, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Yeah, I, I know you've got an extensive background in karate you now. It seems I've looked through your website and it's, you've done everything. <laughs> Yes, it's my work. It's my passion. Yeah. I've started, I was 17 years old. It was 1978. Yeah. Uh, I was three weeks late of a beginner's course. Uh, I had to walk four kilometers, I think. Yeah. Uh, then I was luckily somebody um, catch me with a car. And so I didn't have to walk when okay. I was young. Uh, it, it was a hell of a ride. Yeah. Now my 42, 42th year in a row without a break. Yeah. Teached about 8,000 people, three generations. Oh. I was in uh, over 20 countries teaching. So many changed this decades. Uh, it's it's crazy. It's a hell of a ride. Yeah. Do you think there's been a lot of big changes over the years and martial arts? Uh, yes, indeed. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Uh, it's the first time I I see that the traditional martial arts, karate, even taekwondo, yeah. uh, judo are dying slowly, dying. Uh, clubs are closing, yeah. and the first time uh, modern martial arts. Uh, taking over yeah. and uh, I, I see it's very clearly it's very natural yeah. when I started karate I didn't want to go to boxing I wanted to do this new dangerous mystical thing karate yeah. and, and now it's the same with uh, mixed martial arts you have the chance to to, to get benefits uh, to, to, uh, to reach fame yeah. Uh, so uh, it's it's very natural that um, young people go to um, uh, new martial arts. Yeah. Uh, back to martial arts. Yeah. Uh, I had your biograph biography printed out here. Yeah. You see, and now you are a practitioner practitioner yeah. for um, Shin Ken Goshin Chitsu. Yeah. Shin is mind, Ken is a sword or technique, also yeah. mind, sword. Goshin means self-defense, yeah. and Shitsu is yeah, movement, technique, yeah. work, work. Um, I, I am a brown belt, uh, uh, first kyo yeah. in uh, Goshin Shitsu. Goshin so uh, I was teached uh, that this is... Uh, self-defense department of uh, Kotokan Judo. Yeah. Uh, what is this system you teach? Well, it was founded, it was actually a karateka and a judoka back mm -hmm. in 
both of them had uh, reached, I think it was second or third down black belts, and they started to train together mm-hmm. way back in the 60s. And over time, they developed this system, which was a blend of the two. And then they had influences of jiu-jitsu as well. And it kind of went very self-defense oriented, so they went with the gosh and jitsu. And it's it's very similar to judo. No, the minute now it's it's like judo with strikes. I always refer to it as it's there's a lot of striking in it, but it's a lot of throws as well and joint mm-hmm. blocking and things like that. So yes. yes, it's a nice it's a nice blend of kind of everything. Yeah. Yes, uh, this was my experience. It was more. Um, Nagevasa, more throwing techniques. In, uh, they started from Nagevasa, yeah, and then doing the uh, Kansetsu Vasa. Yeah. Uh, That's it. It's, <coughs> it's very, it's a very interesting system now. And the thing that drew me to it now, I came from a Japanese jiu-jitsu background and kickboxing, and then when I found this, I found that they were very open to cross training. And not only that, but if you went and trained elsewhere, they were very welcome and sharing the techniques within the dojo. So when I was first doing it, I was, I think it was about eighth or seventh key, and I was learning techniques from other systems and coming in. And the instructor would actually spend time trying to learn the techniques from me. And then they would work with them and teach them then to the class as well. So mm-hmm. it was a very open sharing kind of environment within the, mm-hmm. the system. Mm-hmm. And I like that. And it's kind of constantly evolving over time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So the feeling you learn every day is something. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. Mm-hmm. And the as feeling an, of progress. Yeah. And as mm-hmm. an instructor myself now, I train quite a lot of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, mm-hmm. but I would train twice a week there and then I would go and teach my own club. Mm-hmm. And I would be working with our other instructors and we'd be just training between ourselves, sharing the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And there's another guy that's actually doing quite a lot of kickboxing now, so he'd be sharing that. Mm -hmm. And the instructors all work together and kind of, it all just Mm -hmm. falters out through the students then as well. So it's Mm -hmm. it's great to see that cross-training actually being used and shared amongst everyone. And and it works in reality, it's no, uh, Eifersucht in English, Eifersucht, uh, jealous, jealous. Yeah. Is no jealousy involved between the departments? No, no, not at all. No, it's 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 very open to everyone. And a, a difficult thing is you have a 17, 18 young talent or 14 year old talent, and everybody wants to please come over to uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, come over to kickboxing. Yeah, it's. I think we're lucky now where we're, we're based because there's only us and a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu club kind of local mm-hmm. and most people train in both. So it's it's a lot of kind of we're very friendly with the other club and the other dojos and that. So we do all work together and if, if someone's doing really well, the all the instructors see that training in both is actually giving them an, an extra age really. And going on the competition because they have this extra bit that most others aren't doing. So it's everybody sees the benefit in the cross training, and it's a great environment. Uh, let me be precise. Um, it's it's uh, quite different if you do wrestling or if you do boxing. Yeah. Uh, here you have another stamina. Uh, in boxing or karate, you have. Uh, short time endurance and um, in wrestling you have kraft ausdauer uh, strength endurance yeah and uh, in in boxing or karate you have the outgoing muscles triceps chest uh, if yeah. you wrestle you need your forearms your grip your biceps your back so it's a it's also a different kind of uh, body body structure you in, evolve. Yeah, well, I think a lot of our training now would be directed towards grappling, really, it would be the throws mm-hmm. and the groundwork. So you would need a lot of back strength and I suppose stamina as well. And it's it is very aimed towards the grappling more than striking side of things. 
the striking is basically used more to close distance to get in, to get the grips for throw and things like that. So I suppose it would be very much like judo on the on the muscle side and the sort of efficiency of judo. So, for example, uh, it happens many times. I had some guests in my karate school and they were very sportive uh, and they maybe came from uh, uh, soccer and they had very good uh, condition, very good endurance. But if you put them two minutes on a heavy bag and say punch for two minutes, they are done, they're finished. They couldn't move. Of course, it's a different muscle endurance yeah a different stoffwechsel system <laughs> sorry yeah, yeah it's, <laughs> there's a lot more of the latimus muscles and triceps involved rather than different muscles different yeah. oxygen anaerobe aerobe yeah so um, it's a different sport you have different bodies it doesn't work it's It's tricky. I know myself now, I actually qualified as a personal trainer, so I would do a lot mm -hmm. of the fitness stuff for them. Mm -hmm. And we do try to kind of aim at very much the overall fitness, building the stamina, yes, yes, endurance, yes. Mm -hmm. strength. Yes. But uh, as you say, it's, it's very different <laughs> from one martial art to another. So we do, yes. we do find ourselves pushing a lot more to the grappling side, which, which works now, but it's not great if as you say, going into boxing or hitting a heavy bag, they do gas out very quickly. But uh, I suppose it's just aiming all the time to improve fitness as well, rather than just concentrating on technique or concepts. And just overall fitness is a very important part of the training as well. So, Emmett, yeah. please send me the file. Best oh, well, greetings please. to your wife. Have send a good yourself. birth. Yeah, and you. and build a big house until I come next year. You have a new house. I will do. Yeah. <laughs> in, in the middle of it, we just found out the gender today, so we're, we're all excited. And uh -huh, uh -huh, there's uh -huh. a little boy we're having. We have three girls, so a little okay. boy this time that'll be nice. And, uh, Very beautiful. Send me a picture. I will do. <laughs> <laughs> and, bye bye. Uh, have you. a beautiful. It was nice se meeting you. Yes. Have a beautiful Saturday evening. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.